quickly look at all the possible ways that we can be used to um, we can use to actually repair this uh, femoral hyenas okay so um, repairing femoral hyenas how we'll be going about it we'll be going from the definition uh, looking at the aims of the surgery and we'll focus more on the types of what surgeries that can be done I'll uh, look at the surgery involvement and um, we we'll look at the complications that could actually result from the surgeries that are done for femoral hyena repair. Okay, so for the definition now, okay, just just for explanation's sake, basically femoral hyena I have it here, all right, through the femoral canal, and the repair is simply what a surgery done to actually what repair the area, strengthen up the layers there, so that the femoral hyena does not what call again. All right. So femoral hyena is a surgical procedure to repair a hyena that occurs in the femoral canal. And the femoral canal is what a narrow passageway in the thigh near the groin. Okay? So this surgery will aim to what? Push the bulging tissues or intestines back in place. Alright? It will also aim at what? Repairing the weakened area in the muscles or tissue. Alright? It will also prevent the hyena from reoccurring. So you want to strengthen that place so that what nothing comes back again. All right. So what are the types of femoral hyena repair? You could do an open surgery where a single incision is made in the groin to access and repair the hyena. All right. So this is an open surgery. It's a single incision is done. All right. You open it up and try to stitch up, or you could use mesh, which is the gold standard. All right. And everything you are using is non-absorbable. Okay. Yeah, you could do a laparoscopic surgery. So this one, several incisions, small incisions are made, and a laparoscope, that's a thin lighted tube with a camera, is used to re visualize and repair the hernia, okay? Robotic surgery. This one is a type of what? Laparoscopic surgery that uses a robotic system to assist the surgeon, all right? So, uh, talking about the involvement of the surgeries, uh, the surgery may involve hernia sac reduction, Tissue repair with reinforcement with mesh, all right, just like I told you guys, okay? Uh, this one is suture, all right? Use this mesh to just cover the area before you cover with the layers, all right? So, like, to strengthen the area. Uh, you could do a closure of the femoral canal, too, all right? So, femoral hyena repair is usually done under general anesthesia and may require a hospital, a hospital stay. The procedure has a high success rate but there are potential complications which might result. And these complications uh, involve what? Uh, there could be an infection. There could be bleeding. There could be injury to the nearby source structures. Okay, you might injure the uh, uh, You might injure the veins, arteries, or anything there, okay? Um, then the, the hynia is what? Well, there's a high chances that the hynia might come back if the method used for repair is not adequate, okay? Then um, it could result to chronic pain. Of course, you, you're, uh, you're, you're tearing through muscles, you're tearing nerves and all the stuff, right? So it might result to what? Chronic pain, right? So femoral hyena should be repaired very soon after the diagnosis has been made because of high risk of a strangulation, all right? Because there's more chances of strangulation in femoral hyena than in inguinal hyena. So, um, there's no place for a truth for femoral hyena. That means you shouldn't entertain it. All right, so different approaches, just like we spoke about open and uh, laparoscopy. Open being single incision, laparoscopy being just small incisions. I put a laparoscope right there. All right, you guys, how's it about? It's um, in life now.